and welcome to Photoex. In this video I'm going to talk about sensor cleaning. Now uh, many beginners and even some uh, pros get really confused when it comes to cleaning your sensor. Um, a lot of people are scared of uh, damaging something and a lot of people just don't really understand the process and what they should be doing. Now there's literally hundreds and hundreds of different things that you can buy to help clean your sensor. Uh, these range from different types of swabs, rocket blowers, pens, fluids, all sorts of things. I'm going to give you a quick uh, overview of the stuff that I have here and I'll also uh, actually clean my sensor and show you how I do it. Now. Um, a few things I've got here is a different selection of different ways of cleaning your sensor. Uh, the first and most basic is the rocket blower. Now quite a lot of people say you should never use one of these inside the camera um, because you just blow dust around rather than out. That's partly true but if you hold the camera upside down obviously with the lens off and blow the rocket blower up inside most of the dust should fall out. It's always a good starting point. Uh, it gets rid of any loose particles and I'd always recommend using a rocket blower before using any of the other options. Uh, next we have the lens pen. Now what this is is uh, it's a pen with a carbon tip on the end and what you simply do is put this inside the camera and you dab away the dust spots. Now you use, well it's easier if you use this in conjunction with a uh, loop. This one is the lens pen sensor clear loop. It's basically a magnifying glass and this particular model also has LED lights. Um, you put this onto the camera where the lens would be and look through it and uh, you can see the dust spots I'll demonstrate it now for you. So you would lay the camera down, put the loop on and turn the light on. And with this particular model you can see there's a gap and you can actually put the lens uh, the lens pen sensor clear pen inside and dab away the dust spots. Now I've used this method a few times and I'll be honest it's rubbish. Um, I don't know if it's my eyesight or what but um, however much I adjust the focus on the sensor clear I just cannot get the sensor in focus um, it's like it's not close enough um, it's a bit of a waste of money to be honest I think this cost around £50 uh, I'm really not impressed with it at all and the lens pen sensor clear pen um, again, I really haven't got on with this. Um, it's probably alright for a few loose particles of dust, but if you've got a really dirty sensor, it takes too long, it doesn't pick up a lot of the dust, and the carbon tip wears out far too quickly. Uh, I think you can buy new tips for it. I'm not sure if you have to buy the whole thing again, um, but I really haven't got on with that at all. Some people swear by it, but for me, it just didn't work. So the next option you have is swabs. Um, these are the swabs that I use. They're the uh, visible dust swabs. You can buy them in little packs like this with uh, four swabs and the fluid. Or you can buy a separate bottle. Uh, this is an 8 milliliter bottle of fluid and you can buy a big pack of swabs I think there's 16, uh, 12 swabs sorry in there. there's all sorts of different types of fluid you can get, this one is Eclipse fluid which is very popular and this one is uh, Visible Dust Smear Away which is quite good and this one is uh, Visible Dust uh, Sensor Clean uh, the Sensor Clean is better suited just for light water stains and light dust on your sensor. For more stubborn and oily stains you need something like Smear Away uh, which actually breaks down oil. 
Um, Eclipse, again, is uh, more aimed towards really dirty sensors, uh, oil stains and uh, sticky stuff like pollen. So, how do we clean a sensor? First of all, you need to check uh, your camera to see if you need to clean the sensor. There's no point doing it if it doesn't need to be done. Um, so to do that, there's a very easy method. Make sure you have a lens on your camera. And what you want to do is set the aperture as high as it can go. Uh, with this lens, it is f22 and you want to take a picture of a plain white wall or a blue sky and once you've taken the picture I can't do it because I haven't got a card in here you can actually see where all the dust is if you can't see any dust at f22 you don't need to clean your sensor most of the time though you'll see some once you know where the dust is you can then get ready to actually clean your sensor so I'm going to use some of these. This is a visible dust swab for a full frame sensor. As you can see it's basically just a little plastic um, handle with a fabric end. So we get that ready and we get our sensor fluid ready. You need to make sure that you have a fully charged battery or your camera is plugged in to a uh, AC socket. You really do not want the uh, camera to run out of power halfway through this process. You will break your camera if you do that. So make sure you have a fully charged battery. Now with different cameras uh, it works differently but there's usually uh, either a mirror lockup mode or a sensor cleaning lockup mode. On my D700 in the setup menu, it's called Lock Mirror Up for Cleaning. So you simply select that and then it'll say Start, press OK. So you press OK and it'll give you a message saying when shutter release button is pressed, the mirror lifts and a shutter opens. So when you're ready to start, press the shutter button and the mirror will flip up. So we are now ready to start cleaning our sensor. Okay, so you need your fluid and you need your sensor swab and you need to make sure that the mirror is raised on your camera. Open up the swab and put one to two drops of fluid onto one edge of the swab. You don't want to put too much fluid on uh, because it won't evaporate in the camera. Then take the swab, insert it inside the camera and place it onto the sensor. And then simply drag the swab across all the way to the edge and then with the dry side come back the other way and that's it simple as that once you've done it once don't reuse the swabs because of course all the dirt and contamination is now on the swab your sensor might need more than one uh, swab but usually one ought to do it the best way to check now is to reattach a lens and take another photo at f22 and see if there's any dust left. If there is, do another swab. If there isn't, leave it at that. Sometimes you might find that a lot of the dust has been pushed to the edges. Now sometimes these swabs aren't very good for getting into the edges. So you can actually buy corner swabs which look like this. As you can see, they're very similar. They've just got a much smaller, uh, narrower thing, uh, fabric thing on. So again, the process is exactly the same. Take your corner swab, place one small drop of fluid 
and you can then get right into the edges of the camera and you can pick up all the dust especially uh, in the corners quite often you get a lot of dust so just give those a good going over don't be too scared to press down um, obviously don't really put a lot of pressure in the sort of amount you would when writing with a pencil that's about the right sort of pressure okay so that's that our sensor should now be nice and clean and on my camera simply just turn the camera off and the mirror will flip back and then we can reattach the lens and take a look hopefully your sensor will now be nice and clean and you probably won't have to do it again for a while I uh, hope this has been helpful please don't forget to visit the website at www.photoex.co.uk and please register there and leave any comments and also feel free to leave any comments in the box below thanks very much